was for the Son who overcame all the power of death. We praise for the stripes, for the wounds, for the beating you bore, for the tears and the blood that was willingly poured, for the merciful, wonderful majesty of your love. shame on the cross for the lamb who was slain as atonement for us for the one who overcame all the power of death we praise for the stripes for the wounds for the beating you bore for the tears and the blood that was willingly poured for the merciful wonderful majesty of your love Son who overcame all the power of 
close their eyes and open up your hands like you're receiving a gift um, and repeat after me say Jesus, Jesus would you show me your beauty Lord, show me your beauty, Lord. I want to know you I want to see you like the angels see you and I believe that you want to reveal yourself to me amen yeah, we're gonna be singing this song. Um, it talks about the beauty of the Lord. And I really believe that tonight, the Lord wants to reveal His face. He wants to reveal His beauty um, to our hearts. Um, and so we're gonna press in with faith, believing that He is he's good and he wants, to, he wants to reveal Himself to us. Um, so Jesus, we just thank you, Lord, for your presence, God. Lord, we just invite you, Lord, to reveal yourself to us, God, in a fresh way, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Behold the one, the radiance, the splendor of every living thing. You are the word, you are the life, you are the face of God. Grace and truth, 
the image of the Father's outstretched hand. This act of love, this sacrifice, we've seen the face of God. And oh,
Who's thankful for the blood of Jesus tonight? I said, who's thankful for the blood of Jesus? Lift your voice and tell Jesus what he's done for you. Thank him for your blood. Jesus, thank you for your blood. God, thank you for your blood. God, cleanses us, God. Thank you, Jesus. Washes us through Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As I feel throughout this week, if you've been in CRX, there's been a theme, and tonight... I feel there's a real theme that we're going after. It's that the blood of Jesus cleanses us from our sin. The blood of Jesus has saved us and washed us and made us new. Amen. Amen. And when we use the word saved, when the blood of Jesus saves us, what that means is the word sozo, right? We know this. The word sozo means saved. It means healed. It means delivered. Amen. So when the blood of Jesus saves you. That means the blood of Jesus pulls you from death to life. It means the blood of Jesus cleanses you of your sin, of your past. The blood of Jesus heals you yes. of your torment, of your of your disease. It heals you of sickness in your body and it delivers you from the attack of the enemy over your life. Yes. So I feel that there's a real revelation in the blood of Jesus tonight for all of us in this room. And maybe you know Jesus as the saver, or the deliverer. You know him as he saved you from your sin and that's amazing. Right, that's the number one thing that we're grateful for is that we can spend eternity with God. But if you don't know Jesus as the healer, I feel there's a real revelation for you in the room. There's a verse in the, in the book of Exodus, Exodus 15, 26. God is speaking to the Israelites and for the first time he says, I am the Lord that heals you. He says, I am the Lord, your healer. I am the Lord, your healer. And we're singing nothing but the blood of Jesus makes my body whole. You can run to other things, but it's not gonna make your body whole. You can run to other things, but it's not gonna save your soul. And there's a revelation of Jesus as the one who heals you in the room tonight, amen. Amen. So in the same way that the blood of Jesus, I want you guys to picture this, in the same way that the blood of Jesus cleanses us from sin, the Bible's clear that we're justified because of the blood of Jesus. We're also healed because of the blood of Jesus. The Bible says that he's bore our sicknesses and our infirmities on the cross. There was nothing you did to save yourself. There was no right words you could say to be saved from hell. In the same way, there's nothing you could do to be healed in your body. It's the blood of Jesus. And in a second, we're going to pray for each other who are dealing with physical or mental 
of illnesses or sickness in our bodies. I want to share this quick story. Our team a couple of days ago was in a prison in San Diego doing training and, and teaching and sharing the gospel with inmates. It was amazing. It was amazing. God moved so powerfully. And there was one man in there who for 20 years had battled um, a sl a three slip discs in his back, herniated disc, if you know what that is. It's really bad. It's, it's terrible. I've had it. It's the worst pain of my life. Three herniated discs. And, and he, told, he told me that the doctors had told him that he required surgery, but that he had never been able to get it. I was like, how long ago was that? He said he was 20 years ago. For 20 years, he's been in extreme pain and he's been dealing with, with crazy sciatic pain all down his leg as a result of the herniated discs in his back. And our team prayed for him and in a moment, he said he felt a tingling and a warm sensation in his leg and pain was completely gone for the first time in 20 years. And, and when I tell you that the blood of Jesus is powerful enough to heal you of your pain, to heal you of your sickness and infirmity, Come on, can I get a witness in the room? The blood of Jesus. Jesus is the Lord that heals you. So if you are in the room and you have sickness or you have pain or you have chronic illness in your body, I believe tonight is your night that Jesus is in the room and that we've been singing about the blood of Jesus and the revelation of the healer is in the room. So there was a couple specific things that I want to pray for. I felt specifically that on the out that there was an, someone in the room with an injury on the outside of your knee. It was it could be an IT band, LCL, a meniscus, but on the outside of your knee that there was an injury, an injury or pain or some sort of, of deal going on in your knee. I felt that there was people in here who are battling mental torment, that the enemy's got a, a grip, that his, his his grip is around your mind, and that you haven't been able to get free. You're having night terrors, and the, the enemy's tormenting your mind. You're going to get free tonight in the name of Jesus. I believe there's people in the room with gut issues in their gut, with digestive issues. I believe tonight is your night to be healed. If those things that I mentioned, or if you're dealing with any sort of pain or chronic, the reason I say those things is because I believe the Lord is targeting those things. And if you are in the room and you're saying, that's me, I wouldn't otherwise raise my hand. God's saying, no, it's you. It's you. You're going to get healed tonight. So if that's you in the room or anything is going on in your body you want to pray for, I want you to shoot up your hand right now. Come on. All across the room, our staff, can you find someone? Put your hand on someone next to you. If you're next to someone who raised their hand, keep them high until someone comes to you. And what I want this moment to be, I don't, I don't want you to go into long prayers. It's not us. It's not our words. It's the blood of Jesus. So I want you to say simple things like, in the name of Jesus, be healed. It's the blood of Jesus that heals us. So if that's you, shoot up your hand. We're going to pray for you. Go for it right now. 20, 30 seconds. Jesus, I pray, God, you would touch everybody in this room right now in the name of Jesus. God, I ask you that you more than an illness to be right now in the name of Jesus. I ask all of you that God, God would wash over every person in this room in the name of Jesus. amazing this is amazing wrap up the prayer I want you to ask the person how's it feeling I want and if you got prayer I want you to test it out if you can if it was something physical or tangible I want you to test it out do something that you couldn't do before if you're praying I want you to begin to wrap up the prayer and I want the person getting prayer to, to test to test what's going on begin to wrap up the prayer I know we love we love this moment, it's so fun. God's moving in power. If you got prayer, I want you to begin to test and, 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 um, and see if anything's changing.
Okay, I want, I want attention up here. If you're praying, begin to wrap it up. Begin to wrap it up. I want attention up here. Begin to wrap up these prayer times. Thank you, Jesus. This is amazing. Begin to wrap up the prayer. I want eyes up here. So if you got prayer just now in this moment and you feel like something shifted in your body and in your mind, I want you to wave your hand at me right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can you, you want to share with us? Hey, tell us your name. Hannah. Hannah, tell us what happened. Um, today my back has been hurting all day. Like it felt like fluid has been going like up and down my spine. And as they were praying, I just felt like heat. And then they prayed again. And then now I can bend over when I couldn't bend over earlier. Hey, no way. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, was there anyone else who felt like something changed in your body? Yes. Amen. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. Anybody else? Praise God. Okay, second question. This is amazing. Who feels faith stirring in the room right now? Second question. Second question is if you got prayer just now, and if it's something you know tangible, you're able to feel if it changed or not, and you felt like it was still the same, like nothing changed, I want you to wave at me. Is there anybody in the room like that? Okay, yes. Okay, we're going to pray again in faith that God's going to pour out healing on your life. So yes. keep that hand high if that was you just now. We're going to pray one more time. Over here as well, yes. Keep it short, 10, 20 second prayers. It's the blood of Jesus. Jesus, that it's your blood that heals us right now in the name of Jesus. We declare full healing, God, over every body in this room. Jesus, dealing with sickness or infirmity, every mind that's tormented right now, be healed in the name of Jesus. God, we plead your blood over every illness, over every disease, over every sickness, over every chronic infirmity in the name of Jesus. All right, begin to wrap up that prayer time. Begin to wrap up that prayer time. In, in the meantime, I want my friend Christopher to share a story of what just happened. Come up here. Christopher, tell us what happened. Okay. How, how many of you guys believe in miracles? <laughs> 26 years ago, the Lord did something amazing with me. He, I got hit by a car when I was six, broke my hip, half a year in the hospital, 17 days in coma. The Lord, after 26 years, He has me right here, no praising way. Him. Come on. Amen. Amen. That's amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Amen. Praise God. Okay. That second time, if you just got prayer another time, and you felt, talk to me, if you felt like something shifted in your body, I want you to wave your hand. Is there anybody? Come on. Let's go. Praise God. Okay, guys, this is amazing what Jesus is doing in the room. We're going to go back into worship and continue continue praising Jesus for his blood. Amen? All right. Would you lift up a shout to Jesus for what he's doing? Would you lift up a shout to Jesus for the healing in the room? Would you thank him for cleansing you of your sin, healing you of your infirmities? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, it's nothing but the blood of Jesus. Sing, oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. It's nothing but the blood. 
we thank you, Jesus. Can we just thank you in our own words? We thank you for the cross, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We lift you up, Jesus. <laughs> Lord, we thank you for the cross. We thank you for the grave. We thank you for your resurrection. We thank you that you ascended and now you're seated at the right hand of the yes. Father. We thank you for the victory of the cross. We thank you, Jesus. Just keep thanking him in your own words.
I feel like there's an invitation for revelation tonight on singing about the train of his robe filling the temple. And that's from Isaiah 6, when Isaiah saw the Lord seated on the throne and the train of his robe filled the temple. And if you didn't know this, in the Old Testament times, when a king won a battle, he would cut off the bottom of the robe of the king that he won over and it would be sewn to the bottom of his robe. So the longer a king's robe was, the more victories he had won. So when our Lord's robe fills the temple, it means he has never lost a battle. It means he has never lost a battle. He is the healer. There is nothing he can't heal. He is the deliverer. There is no one he can't deliver. So as we sing this, we're singing about the king who has never lost a battle and a train of his robe fills the temple. So Holy Spirit, we thank you for the king of glory. We ask for revelation of the king tonight. Yeah. 
this room who have had a battle that feels like an uphill battle. We're like, man, they're like, I've been trying to break this addiction. I've been trying to shake this. I've been waiting for healing for years. And can we just prophesy this song into our lives? The line of Judah, who's never lost a battle, is the one who's fighting for us, the one who's on our side. If you need to sing this over someone next to you, we're gonna keep declaring this. There's so much truth in this tonight, that he's never lost a battle, and he will never lose a battle. So we're just gonna keep singing this. We're gonna keep declaring this and prophesying this tonight. Hail, hail, Lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, Lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail, Lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Hail, hail.
what Jesus has purchased by his blood. Are you guys ready to do this? All right. I'm going to count to three, and I want you to lift up the loudest shout. I want you to shout Jesus on the count of three. The band's going to help us. And I want you to keep shouting until you feel it's time to be done, okay? We're going to do this by the Holy Spirit tonight. And I want you to shout the name of Jesus as loud and as long as you can. And we're going to believe for something to shift supernaturally in that moment. Are you guys ready? Okay, are you guys ready? All right, one, two, three, Jesus!
for the person next to you but I want us just to ask Jesus for an increase of his Holy Spirit and then we're going to pray for the person next to us but let's just all cry out and just say Jesus I need the living water of your spirit in my life I need the fountain of life afresh in my heart so let's just all just lift your voice and ask Jesus say Jesus I need you Jesus I need that living water that you offer Jesus I want the fountain of life find someone close to you and we're going to pray. I want you to pray for the person next to you just that there would be a wave of God's refreshing this week. So it could be someone you came with, a friend you're close to, and I want you just to pray the most radical prayer of blessing over that person, that God would refresh them this week, that there would be a new sense of joy in life and encounters with Jesus. And so I'm going to count to three. I want you to pray. Um, if you want to pray first, just raise your hand if you're going to go first. You're going to pray first, and then we'll switch in a little bit. But I don't want you just to pray for a wave of God's refreshing over the person next to you. One, two, three, in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for a wave of refreshing, God. In Jesus' name.
If you haven't switched to the second person, you can switch. Lord, we just pray a wind of your refreshing, Jesus. We pray you commission us out of here tonight, Lord, with the weight of your glory in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray you continue to reveal yourself in dreams and visions. Lord, we just pray, God, for the truth of your word, Lord, to pierce our hearts in Jesus' name. closing your prayer moments here's what I want us to agree together you could end your prayer moments look back up here I want us to agree together on these Thursday nights every Thursday night we've been praying and asking the Lord to send a movement of healing so if you're still praying I want you just to end your prayer look up here we're gonna agree together for something corporately um, if you're new to Greenhouse or from the community joining, every Wednesday night we've been going after miracles and healing and believing God for His supernatural power to be at Thursday night. So I want us all to pray something together, and I want you just to engage your voice and your spirit with the heart of what we're going after here. And I want us all together just to ask the Lord that He would send a movement of His supernatural power to Gen Z, that we would see healing signs wonders and miracles that were promised in the scriptures and the book of acts poured out at a greater measure so could i borrow your prayer would you pray with me just for 30 seconds and ask the lord for his supernatural power his miraculous power to invade orange county yeah. to invade the high schools and the universities to invade the united states of america to invade the nations that the power the supernatural power that comes with the gospel will be released in Gen Z. Will you guys pray with me? On the count of three, let's all just lift our voices together in agreement. One, two, three. Jesus, we agree together for a movement of healing, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we agree for signs, wonders, and miracles, for your power that delivers, Lord, for your authority over the works of the enemy, Lord, in Jesus' name. Ask for the power of the gospel to be released, Lord. There would be a wave of the power of the gospel in Southern California, Lord, and across the nation and in the nations of the earth. In Jesus' name, if you believe that, shout amen. amen. Okay, we're going to close in a simple chorus. The band's going to lead us, and then we're going to be done. So let's sing this last chorus out together with all of our hearts, and then we'll end and be out of here tonight. You guys want to worship one last time? Just stand and lift your hands. Put your attention on Jesus. We're just going to exalt Jesus one last time together, full of thanksgiving, and the band's going to lead us.
Amen, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Greenhouse. Thank you guys for coming tonight. Next week, we got Monday nights. We got Greenhouse, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thank you guys for coming tonight, going after Jesus. Go get some food, share the gospel with someone as you go out to eat tonight, if you're going out to eat, or go home and rest. Bless you guys. Have a good night. <laughs>